when I got there, I'm all gun ho. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm bringing all everything from down that way. And they're like, boy, you know where the fuck you're at? Like, you're in, you're in Pelican Bay. We give a fuck about down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it matters what happens up here. Like, we listen to up here. And I'm like, whoa, like, there's a step back. Because here I am, 22, 23 years old, thinking I'm going to get embraced. Like, and I'm, you know, maybe because my ego or maybe. The shit you, you the work yeah, you put in. The work I put in. And I'm telling these dudes and, and it's like, they don't give a fuck. And I'm like, all right. You're not impressing them. Yeah, I'm not impressing them. And then I really had to figure out, like, it's not about impressing. Like, these dudes been through all this shit. They've been through the 80s and 90s where it was like fucking warfare in prison. Like, there was a gang of murders, like, all that time. And, and you know, I had to really sit back and analyze myself. You know, really do a self-analyzation of, like, how I am and, and how people view me. And, and how they their, their, their perception of me. Like, how do I come across to you? And at the time, I was very egotistical. I was very like, I know, I know, like, fuck, you been back here. I know. Can't tell you know me nothing. Saying? Yeah, you can't tell me shit. I've been in the thick of shit where you've been in the cell. You know what I'm saying? That's that was my mentality, and and it turned a lot of dudes off. And I was like, fuck. So there was an individual that he used to, uh, we used to bump heads a lot, and uh, I lived, <laughs> I lived in the pot with him for a long fucking time, and um. He ended up being one of the, the most persons that I looked up to. I learned a lot from. Because I'm the type of learner that, like, I, I eventually I became the type of learner where I didn't ask no more. I just paid attention to what you did. You know what I mean? I learned from your actions, better to speak. You know, I, I stopped really asking because as the more I got older and into it and I asked, it was more like it was becoming an irritation to people. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, you know what? Just let me see how this person carries himself and I'll learn from that. Or let me see how he operates in this type of situation or how he uses this or how he uses that. Or how he uses his mind and this, you know? So I started learning that way, just paying attention to people. And um, like I said, we knocked heads the whole time. Like, honestly, we probably wanted to kill each other. Like, over, over like, a, like a, <laughs> it was just crazy, like crazy shit that a regular human being wouldn't do it. Like, you, you don't give me a burrito. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't tell me Buenos Dias. Like, I want to fucking kill you for it. Like, that's how, that's how much. It's, because you're, 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 inf- you're, you're this is what you're focused on and you become yeah. infatuated you become with it. Infatuated with it. So it's like, and then and then you know they're intentionally doing it and you can't get to them. And it's like a mind game. It's like a mind game. So it's like you really gotta be strong. And uh when I first got there, they ostracized me, bro. They put me on the shelf. Like I really had to dig my way back up. Like so what they, I mean by they, ostracizes, yeah, go ahead. Is is, is is like I wasn't uh they were just ignoring me because I was too like I know what I'm talking about. So they're like, all right, youngster. You know what I mean? They wouldn't take me serious. So like uh, eventually, like I said, I had to self-analyze myself and just reinvent myself, basically. So I started reading more. I, I started getting more books. Like like uh, the 48 Laws of Power, all that, that's all that's all crap. Those are good concepts if you know how to apply them. But it, it, the basic like human psychology of, of the human character, like what makes some, some individual tick? What is somebody's habit? Like this person does exactly the same thing that this person does. So they must be, you know, they must have the same personality. So I know what to look for or I know how to appease or I know how to push the conversation or navigate this situation this way where I don't get myself in a wreck. So I started applying those concepts that I was reading from all these books. And, and you know, some of them worked, some of them did. And then eventually I ended up, like I said, I excelled on the main. I ended up selling in the Pelican Bay where, where really it really mattered. You know what I'm saying? And then... uh Coming into this, uh, coming into this where I'm at, Pelican Bay, um, some of the major figureheads for the hunger strike, some of the coalition, they started issuing uh, statements. Get ready for the hunger strike. We're going to do it July 8, 2013. 